This is my electric cord reel, 50 foot cord reel that stopped rewinding. So I had thought that the spring had broke somewhere. So I was taking it apart. I was going to see if I could weld it back together. But as you can see, the spring is all complete. So to get at the spring, I needed to cut that side off. So I used just a hacksaw blade and cut along that edge. So I'll be able to plastic weld it back together. But this is why it stopped reeling. So where the rivet of the end of the spring goes, it busted out that uh, side where it retains it. So what I'm going to try and do is just uh, chamfer down or use my Dremel and cut a hole right here. That'll retain the end of the spring. And then I should be back in business. Here we have the hole drilled out. Rivet was test fitted and fits in there good. Looks like that rivet fits in there just fine. So now let's just wind up this spring to get it back in. So here we have the spring back in the housing and the new hole. One of the things I'm hoping is because this originally had two supports in the side. Now this has a support right here, right against where it's pulling. Um, and then the other side is captured against the top outer edge right there. It should have enough support in that. So what I need to do now is... Take, whoop, take this top piece and then plastic weld this back on here so that way it retains it and doesn't spin and that'll allow me to have that ratcheting where it stops and holds it. So next step. Here it is all wound up back in. Just got to put the top on it. We've got it working now. So, time to put it back together. It is all fixed now. Locks out. And fully retracts. So, good to go. You just mount it back up. Here we are installed now. All done.